And it's clicks Tahi and Sprite on the high ground. Okay, let's see how this goes. Zone pulls down. One of the hardest zones to hold high ground on is a very far down pull. Especially with floppers in the game. Someone can sit back, eat floppers, take high ground late. You gotta play this one perfectly. Nice. Good shots coming out here from Clix's team. They're gonna start tapping out. Is someone gonna land on? Beautiful short pad. Tahi bumps his head, but that's fine. Clix Tahi Sprite gonna try and be the highest team in the lobby. If they drop down too far, though, one of the teams behind them can easily take it off them. They're gonna get a second pad. Nice call from, I believe, Sprite there. Tahi misses it, but Clix and Sprite are gonna get another big jump up here. They can try and take high ground. Edgy's looking pretty weak here. Man City threats as well. Still up, but Rise goes down. Sprite lands on high ground. Clix Tahi and Sprite looking fantastic on high ground, actually. Zone coming across. Nick FN hitting the sky. Oh, Beef, Loopy, and Nick FN with the Shadow Floppers. But Nosh, Nosh and Nut land on the high ground. Nosh, Nut, and Skittles doing what Nosh, Nut, and Skittles do best. And unfortunately, Clix, Sprite, and Tahi here at the hands of this. It's just the way they played the game. But Clix with a massive shot onto Nosh. And unfortunately, this is going to go poorly for Clix and... Nosh's team here. It looks like Nosh's team made the high ground play. This is why high ground is not going to be the play this weekend. I promise you that. There is that many teams that want the high ground. Reverse 2K lands on an edgy and threats are up there. Nick FN falls from the high ground above the high ground. There is four separate high grounds right now. Man, the pad height grief meta is just in full effect here. Game 1 of NA East. Edgy's still in this. Threat's still in this. Pam's do carry Fats down below. Mackwood, Bucky, and Peterbot down below avoiding all of this. Same with Smack's team. Same with Kaz. We got Scented, Commandment, and Stretch. Unable to play the ultra low ground because this game is just one of the worst zones I've ever seen in my life. I want to pick one team, but look at this, man. It's just a whole build fight suspended in midair. No one can go down because they don't know if zone's going to pull back up. This is one of the worst rotating zones I've ever seen. Carry and Fatch go down. Pam's do as a solo right now. 10 teams, 21 players. Kaz, Pooh Fishy still trying to find their way through this one as well. Threats and Edgy holding on, doing very well after losing Ryze early in the rotating zones. We've got our FNCS champs holding on for dear life with Dukes. 12 builds. Dukes going to go down. Scented Commandment and Stretch still doing big things. Haven't taken a look at Bucky, Mackwood, and Peterbot. Still going here. Taking the high ground. Bucky, Mackwood are up right now. I think Mackwood's climbing up the mountain. Bucky said he had a feeling about this weekend, and it looks like game one going fantastically for Bucky's team right now. Miro Bugamuz, brand new team down below, doing incredibly well. Looks like they're going up against Stretch's team here, though. Two of the biggest new teams on the block colliding. Muzz with two Elims on the board, two for Miro, one for Buga. Muzz going to try and make his way up here. Unfortunately, gets pinned down there. Buga goes down as well. Miro now as a solo. Three teams, eight players, seven players once Buga goes down. So if you look at Bucky on the high ground as a full trio, they have every advantage in this game. Scented going down. Commandment and Stretch versus Bucky, Mackwood up above, and Miro stuck in the middle. Miro's just going to play the flops to see if he can stall this one out. Maybe clutch up a second place. Can he get second? Stromadon doing his best to stop that from happening. Same with Commandment. Stretch getting sprayed up here by his old teammate Miro in this one. We got Commandment. They're still together here. Stretch and Commandment. Man, all the new teams showing up big. All brand new teams on NA East. Three teams, six players. Miro down below. Surely this has got to be it for Miro. You've got to imagine we're going to see Scented come second. Miro can't make the jump. He goes down. Mackwood, Peterbot, and Bucky on the high ground going up against Commandment and Stretch on the low ground. Fantastic game one for both these teams. But you've got to imagine Commandment and Stretch are on their last dying legs here. Spray coming out. Maybe if they chop them down, though, they could win this. If they bring them down, they do bring them down. There's a chance. Stretch's got to hit the big shot, and Bucky with the beautiful right-hand peak. Commandment goes down, and game one goes to the team that almost didn't make reboot round. 11 Elims, Bucky, Mackwood, and Peterbot showing up massive to game one. Good start. Very good start. And the second place curse continues. It is not edgy. <laughs> They got really good loadouts so far. 52 builds on Bucky. Oh, this might be some freebies as well. Two Elims, 52 builds on Bucky, 50 on Peterbot, soon to be more. And then 35 on Mackwood. They got more than enough mass to do this. Anyone going for high ground? No. If you guys don't know, Dusky, Quanti, and Nani were not able to play heats because I believe it was Quanti's in, uh, sorry, power went out. So they had to call out a reboot round. They called out a reboot round and they're potentially picking up a win in one of the first two games in the finals. Fantastic story for them. A team that almost had a devastating end to their season. Miro takes down Kanata. First place still going strong here, though. Almost breaking the top 10 teams. DGen goes down. 
So far, so far, Muzz, Booger, and Miro still looking very healthy. Their shield inventory right now is insane. The build's not looking too great, though. Yeah, they've only got about 60 builds max total. They're going to have to get a refresh. Booger gets in. Big shot from Booger. I think that was onto Nosh, his ex-teammate. Don't know if the shot landed, though. Miro takes down Bucky. This is third place on first. No, this is second onto first now. Very, very big eliminations for them. Peterbot trying to go as a solo. 11 builds to his name. Mac would also in this as a solo right now. They are on a, They find their way back to each other. Back to being a duo. Durant clutching up so many points right now as a solo. Durant is just lurking, surely, for not too much longer. You've got to imagine that's going to be him going down on the low ground here. It is going to go down here on the low ground. We got Clarity G still in this one as well. Clarity is a solo on the low ground. Everything's breaking down here. Rise is in here. Looks like Users Justice still going without Dukes. Rise is a solo. Want to get some eyes on M Miro, Muzz, and Booger though. Full trio still up here doing fantastic. Seven teams, 16 players. All the new teams showing up very big here. We have Macwood trying to solo clutch now, playing the medkits. While well, Muzzburg and Mira still being active in this low ground. Everyone being forced up this mountain. This is such a good situation for Quanti's team, which I imagine are still on the high ground. That is second place. Taking out first. Muzz, Booger, and Miro have the potential to overtake Bucky's team now on the leaderboard. We do still have Nani, Quanti, and Dusky up above. So we're going to focus on these low ground fights because unfortunately, Booger, Muzz, and Miro are getting pushed up into what I imagine will soon be a blender of a fight. Booger goes all the way around. Good wraparound for Booger, but not a heavy shotgun shot, unfortunately. Muzz has to solo clutch up. First time in NAE's finals. Top three, not bad. We have a 3v3. We have AV versus Dusky. High ground versus low ground. Are they going to be able to make their way up here? AV has a good heal off. Four splashes and one flopper. I'm going to keep eyes on AV here because everything's on him to clutch this one up. 22 seconds till zone closes out. They have the match to hold this low ground. And high ground has the master hold, but oh, they still have splashes too. They have nine splashes on high ground. We're going to see a potential heal off. AV plays the med kit. Did he play it too early? We can't see. I hope this has gone off. Please tell me this has gone off. AV gets it off. He's got the one flopper. He's still got four splashes as well. He's got to play this smart. How's the heal off on high ground going? We have Nani still three splashes left. Keeping Quanti and Nani alive. They've got the splash. They get to keep both of each other up. It's 1v2. AV, I think, has no meds down below. One more splash. Running for his life. 50 HP. 40, 30, 20, 10. And oh, Quanti gets the shot. And Nani on 10 HP. One tick to zone. 1v2 being the advantage. They get the dub. That's the difference between having the floppers for the heal off and having the splashes. Quanti was able to keep both of them alive. So they brought it down to a 1v2. All right, who's going to take high ground here? Let's check it out. First rotating. We did have Aviv up there. Aviv is going to try and hold it. They're going to start pre-typing in metal. Get a nice little base going. Gonzo building up on ulti height. Would like him to probably go up maybe one or two more layers. I feel like only two layers up. Probably not worth ulti height, but all three of them holding it though. So we'll see. They've got a platform for ulti height. They've got a platform they're going to tarp on. I like this. I like this. But again, I want to see a Vive when they start tapping go a little bit higher. Chimp goes down. Oka's not too far behind. Day going down to OG in the back. And right now, the pad's going to come out. They're not going to tap off this. They're going to pad off it. Interesting. They're going to try and hold this high ground. They're not going to try and tap their way in. Makes sense. First rotating. If they tapped right now, they'd be high and dry. Someone to spray him out. Donnie Knife for Joji, though. Use that opportunity to get high ground themselves. They're going to start tapping in. A Vive's going to land on the opposite side. They're going to ramp at each other. We're going to have to see who can manage to hold on to this one. We got beef down below. It looks like Knife is going to go up. Knife is going to take it off them. Unfortunately, that delay on the pad play is what cost them. Very good reaction from Donnie, Joji, and Knife to recognize that. Tabs G still in this one right now. Bucky goes down. Peter Bottom, Mackwood, our first place team, down to a duo. We currently have Muzz out of this one. Booger, our second highest point team, is a solo below surge. You have to imagine we're watching Booger's last breaths here in this game. Zero builds. Can't even make the jump. Unfortunately, one HP. He makes it, but he's below Surge, so it's not. he's going to go down very soon. And, oh, Eclipse gets the Elim there. So right now we have Rise, Threats, and Edgy, our second highest point team alive. Macwood, Peterbot as a duo holding on to their lead on 100 points. First team to break triple digits here today on NAE's finals in Game 3. But Macwood goes down as I say that, though. Peterbot's a solo now. So eyes on Rise, Threats, and Edgy to make a play on low ground. Edgy's old teammate centered not in this lobby, so this team might be able to run up the low ground here. Peterbot goes down as well, so no first or second. Oh, big shot onto Threats, unfortunately. 
One Elim right now for Threats. Three Elims for this team. Edgy goes down. So it's going to be up to Threats and Rise. Been playing together seasons now. See if they got the chemistry for this one. They might be able to get Edgy back up here, potentially. Are they going to try with the splashes? Nah, Zone's pulling opposite. It's pulling too far away. Does it pull back? It pulls back. Oh, they're going to clutch the res. Full HP with the splashes. You love this from this team right now. They clutch the res. Zone pulls back. Edgy threats and rise. Cop a bit of luck. Maybe? No, the shot comes through at the last minute. They had the splashes. They had the med kit. They had the big pots. If they got Edgy back up, they still would have been a full trio. Unfortunate for this team. Currently, we have Frist, Ospin, Visuals. Take the high ground. Our, our highest point team alive right now. Up above on five elims. This is very big for the leaderboard right now. We got high ground versus low ground, but rise and threats, unfortunately, as a duo. Jamper goes down. Who fishy goes down? Tragix goes down. Elites in this one still as a solo in Storm 2010. Looking for floppers and no, just can't pop it in time. Aspect holding things down as a solo. What heal off have we got for the high ground? We got one med kit, two splashes, two med kits. That's it. So they could play a double med kit if it comes down to heal off, but maybe it doesn't. Every game today so far has come down to heal off, though. These games have been incredibly stacked. Threats is looking for some way through here. Threats goes straight in. Teo tabs G, but Threats takes the wall. Beautiful play by Threats there to stay alive. Fantastic reaction. Threats is doing very, very well. Rise is here as well, but Rise is playing. They're playing together now. Back together as a duo. They're going to keep playing this mid-ground layer. I've got to imagine high ground is holding, but zone is going around this mountain. No, it's going up it. Oh, no. They're pushed into the blender. We see Ryze get a knock on to Teo. Threats goes down, but right now they have an insurmountable alien mountain, whatever the f*** you want to call this in front of them. Tabs G's got to make his way around, and Tabs G does with the help of some chili chug splashes. High ground right now. Frist, Osman, Visuals. I was going to say looking really good because they have the high ground, but no. They get contested by Ganzo, Dom, and Aviv, who had the high ground initially, gave it up to them, and then came back for it. Visuals is on the high ground now. He's got the heal off. I imagine he does. Two med kits, two chili chug splashes. That should hopefully be enough for them. Pam Stowe, Fatch, and Carry. What have they got to play? Only the med kit. They're battling it out on low ground. They're going to go down here. Are they going to get siphoned? Osp goes down. It's going to go over to Carry. Carry didn't get the med kit, though, so you have to imagine. Unless Visuals messed up the med kit. <gasps> they spray him out. He can't get the med kit off right now. The French Canadians almost do it on low ground. 10 HP. One tick the difference. Pants to carry and Fatch almost, almost pull off the upset. They come second, and Visual's team on the high ground is going to win it. Leaderboard's getting closer now. Leaderboard's getting closer. Boogamir and Muzz going to make a play for this on low ground. 31, but 204 below. Booger Muzz Mirror got to get active here. Who's going to find the damage? Muzz gets a nice tag on Eden, gets an Elim there as well. Only 79 below now. Day Jamper Tragics in the box adjacent to them. Got to be careful. There's 40 damage. Still 37 below, though, unfortunately. This is looking rough. 35 above. There's the tag. Mirror with only the green pump. Muds with the spaz. Imagine the day, chat. Imagine the day. An OCE play against the spaz. Muzz is popping off here. Doing us proud. Mirror and Booger, unfortunately, going down, though. Muzz got to clutch up for the boys. Got to prove he's got what it takes right now as a solo. 72 above surge, 47 builds, two big pots. He's got to keep pushing forward if he can. Still looking good. Takes down Dusty as well. Two E limbs. He's above surge now. Osp is the, ooh, our first place team right now. Osp on 117 points as a solo. Gets the med kit off. Going to try and pop the minis here if he can. Oh, and he goes down. Unfortunately, Muzz still as a solo. Probably soon to follow, I imagine, with only three builds left. Got the spaz. What can Muzz do? Can he try and find something here? Oh, he's going to get the big pot off. He does get the big pot off. He's going to trade some surge ticks. I mean, some storm ticks, though. Try and stagger here. Stretch goes down in the feed. Aviv goes down. Dukes goes down. Rise threats and edgy. Full trio running up the mid ground right now. Tabs G falls. Muzz is still in this one, though. They get another Elim on the board. Muzz gets another Elim on the board, I believe. 58 builds. Muzz is clutching up as a solo. Doing us all very, very proud at this point. Takes down Nani. The reboot round winners, six Elims on the board for this team. Three of them in the hands of Muzz, clutching up so many points for his team right now. Day takes down Carry in the feed, 11 teams, 22 players. Muzz is your highest point team right now, live or solo. Behind them is Rise, Threats, and Edgy. Center takes down Kaz, Place takes down Ages. What can Muzz do here to find something? He's just holding on for what he can. 
Everything is breaking down below. We have Threats, Rise, and Edgy getting even more Elims on the board. Only four, though, but they've been getting very active here in the end game. Where's Centered? Is Centered still in this one? Centered is. Centered and Commandment still going as a duo. They've lost Stretch, unfortunately. So we got it. We got a lot of teams not at their full strength right now. Muzz dropping down, getting frontside. Beautiful spot, but unfortunately, Teo has the harpoon. Muzz only in woods, gonna have to jump out in the storm. He goes back around. He's going to try and find it here. The edit's looking clean, actually. The mech's looking clean, but no! Slides down the hill. Such an unfortunate way to go for Muzz. Threats, Edgy, and Ryze, though. Full trio. Highest point team alive right now. Trying to do something big here. Who's on the walls? I'm not sure. This is Illus. Illus goes down. Top six secured. 15 players right now. Who is on the high ground? We have not checked this in a minute. We currently have Jamper, Day, and Tragics on the high ground. Or Jamper and Day, I should say. This is going to be the story of duos. Jamper day right now. Threats edgy rise. Only full trio I can see right now. And we have Scented and Commandment down below. We do have Scented and Commandment down below. And then who's left? Who would we have unaccounted for? Knight as a solo. So it's 2v3v2v1. 3 v 2 v I believe I did that right. Day's got the chug splash. Has he got the heal off here? Jam's gonna play the med kit. Oh, the splash for the double med kit? No, just the splash instead. Right now, Edgy on the low ground. Here it is, Edgy on the low ground versus Day, or I believe it's Jam for healing off. Jam gets the shots down. 24, 14. 4 HP, and Edgy can't find the edit. Day, Jamper, Tragics. They started a bit slow, but the 10 Elim Vicroy is going to jump them up big. Same with Centered. Centered back in this one as well. Threats, Edgy, Rise, I think might even be in first now. Which way is Zone going to go? Zone goes across. So right now, click star, you Sprite. Cop a bit of luck. Donald Mustard coming in clutch. Oh, Nosh and Skittles, as I say that, though, get absolutely beamed by Muzz. Looks like Muzz, Booga, and Mira make a play on high ground here. They don't get zoned, but maybe caught them sleeping. But unfortunately, Muzz copping a bit of damage back. Only has the one mini in the big pots. This team looks like they're running very low, very, very low on shield. Going to take a big refresh here to keep Muzz's team in this one for much longer. They can't take any damage here. Are they going to land on high ground? Are they going to leave it? Clicks Tahi Sprite. The spray's coming out. I got to imagine they're going to hold it. Nut gets taken down there. Clicks with the god beams in the sky. Osp falls. Doesn't go down, though. He's on his glider. Paper goes down, but he hasn't been finished just yet. Sprite falls off the high ground. Or is he jumping? No, Sprite jumps down for the loot. 120 builds, 1,140 above. Six Elims right now for Clix's team on the high ground. Looking very good to have the big game they need to get back in this one. Uses Justice, cranking up a little bit on front side. Sprite's going to land on it to try and shut that down as quick as possible. We got Centered Stretch and Commandment on the outside. Trying to make a big play for this one as well. Smack, Niddle, and Casket down below. Ulti low. Same with Day Jamper Tragics. Frist is going to go down here at the hands of Clix again. Clix is fragging out right now. And do we have Cease in the sky? We do. I've got to imagine this is going to be Cease. Yep, Cease, Cold, and Elite in the sky. The issue is, does Clix know they're there? No, Osp and Visuals take high ground. Clix give up the high ground. So right now, our highest point team still alive. Second place overall is on the high ground. That is very scary for Edgy's team. Tragix takes down Niddle. Do they get landed on? Here they come. Cease is dropping down. He's going to go for high ground, I believe. But Osman Visual's holding it as a duo right now. Cold still going up here, but I believe Visual's holds it. But Osp goes down. Visual's needs to give it up. 79 builds. Doesn't matter how many builds you have, though, if you're a solo. I like Click Sprite, and Tahi giving this high ground up. They didn't hold it for no reason. Now they can try to take it if they want to. They are going to try and take it. While that high ground team is distracted and fighting, they're going to go for it. Tahi's going up. Macwood takes down Muzz. Mira takes down Bucky. Two of our top five teams colliding right now, but Clix is going for the high ground. He's trying his best to get this one. Cold is not giving it up. Cold, Cease, and Elite hold the high ground. Muzz goes down. It's up to Booga and Mira now to clutch. 11 teams, 27 players. Mira is our highest point team alive right now. As they've overtaken Frist and Visuals, but Visuals is down to a solo. You're going to try and play the medkits, clutch up as much placement as he can. Miro Booga still pushing forward in this one as well, but Miro on one HP, eight builds. Lucky to even be alive after that. Booga following behind. What are they going to do here? They're going to do something big. This Matt's off to the right. Booga uses his last build to get them. He gets 17 builds, enough to keep them in this one. He's going to start tapping for Miro. Miro's trying to follow up from behind. Booga stuck in a bad spot here. They're on a decent layer, but they're running out of mats fast. We still have Cold's team on the high ground. Scented Commandment and Stretch on the low ground. And Clicks, Tahi, and Sprite. Or just Clicks and Tahi on the mid ground here. 10 teams, 23 players. Clicks' team clutching up big points right now. They needed this. They need more Elims though as well. Tragics down below. Shots don't come out. 
Day Jamper and Tragics jumping back in this one as well. Full trio playing this mid ground fantastically. Reverse takes down Cease. That means we might have a play on high ground. We do. We have Reverse, Durantula, and wait, never mind. Reverse, D Durant, and Pump go for high ground, but it ends up going to Jamper and Tragics. I haven't seen Day in this one. Day goes down in the process. J Jamper hits the short pad, the stutter pad, actually. Beautiful play by him. They're going to try to hold this high ground, but they don't really have the builds to keep it. Six teams, 12 players. Jamper's still going up for this, and they are going to hold it. Jamper and Tragics end up keeping this. We have Smite down below. Got to be, I imagine, colliding with Commandment's team and doing pretty well for it. Clix is bringing the comeback, though. Tahi goes up and unfortunately falls. Clix takes it. 40 HP. Clix wins that one. 60 HP, 100 shield. Good game from Clix, Tahi, and Sprite. But can Clix do more? He's going to have to do more here. Only four builds to his name. 100 shield, 20 HP. Up against Jamper. Drops him in with a big shot. Beautiful play from NRG. Clix here on the high ground. Colds down below. Seeing if they can make something happen out of this. Three teams, three players. It's a 1v1v1. Commandment's playing the med kit. Colds colliding. That gives Clix a huge advantage, but Clix drops down. Clix with the confidence. He doesn't stay up. He doesn't hold. He jumps down to try to get active. Commandment behind the walls. Does Clix have more health? I don't think he does. Commandment comes around and Clix wins it as a solo. Six kills for Clix. What is that? 11 for the team. 88 points. Big, big comeback from Clix. He needed that game, man. The kids were talking shit. He heard it, but he ignored it. Good shit from Clix. That was a good play. High ground looks like it's still going to be Ailes. It is. Ailes still on the high ground. Looking good. Day still going as a solo as well. Peterbot grabbing some frags in the in the feed as well. 12 teams alive. Plagues down below. DJ and Aegis Kanata still going with those chili chug splashes. Nani is a solo. Pam's do carry fetch. Peterbot, Bucky, Mackwood right now. Four Elims. Four Elims doing very well here. Can they find something else? Bucky's looking for it. Mackwood, Bucky, Peterbot. They've got the Chili Chug Splashes on. Don't have too many builds. They got the pad, though. They're going to make the play for high ground. Here it is. They are going to make the play for high ground. Beautiful 30-meter pad here. But unfortunately... You told me to watch you. You you told me to watch you. What do you want from me? Okay, well, unfortunately, Bucky, um, having surely a technical malfunction there. I'm pretty sure he lagged. I'm almost positive Bucky lagged. Oh, he said don't watch him. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Oh, I f***ed up. Oh, I f***ed up. All right, well, Peter Bot's on the low ground as a solo. We got Subscript, Ale, and Villette's on the high ground as a trio. <laughs> Unfortunately, the high ground take not going exactly to plan for Bucky's team there. Not really sure what happened. I think one or two of them at least lagged. We have Threats, Rise, and Edgy here on the ulti low. Eight teams, 18 players. Booga, Mira, Muzz still going as a full trio. 64 builds on Booga. 41 on Muzz. 39 on Miro. And Day is still going as a solo, I believe. Or maybe he just went down. Threats goes down here as well. Looking good for Miro's team. Rise and Edgy down to a duo. Ale still up on the high ground. How's the heal off looking on the high ground? What have they got? They got six minis, two big pots, one med kit, four splashes. So high ground very much has the heal off potential right now. Bugamira Muzz on second height. Got to be careful. Visuals team still in this as well. 168 points. A lot of teams are climbing up very high right now. Aegis goes down to the hands of Frist. Ail's team still holding that high ground. Villa's dropping down though. No, Muzz going for it. Muzz, Booga, Mira making the play for high ground. They managed to take down Villa's. Mira and Muzz working very well together for this one. Where's Booga? Booga's in the box as well and also wins this trade onto Peterbot. This is massive for Booga, Miro, and Muzz. That's their seventh Elim on the board. Muzz falls, unfortunately, but Booga, Miro is still trying to clutch up, but they didn't take high ground. Little Ale and Suscript still above them. Os still below. Os getting a big Elim on tonight. Four teams, eight players, and oh my god, Os team on 12 eliminations right now. We're talking about Threads versus Muzz, but like I said, almost anyone could overtake this. This means Os team right now in first, and we have lost Threads, so Threads' team has gone down. Miro's got the full heal off strat right now, but he's only... Oh, he's got the floppers and the splash. He's got to find his way in, though. Miro goes... I mean, Booga goes down. Miro's a solo against Suscript. One HP. No! The splash doesn't go off, which I imagine is going to switch over in the hands of Suscript. Suscript with the two splashes and the two floppers. He brings the heals up. Beautiful play there. Ale plays the med kit in zone. Suscript brings the meds. He's got four splashes, two floppers. You have to imagine he takes this. Osp is down to bandages. He hits the dance. He knows it's over. 
Ale Villets and Suscript with the 11 Elim Vic Roy. What a game six. What a game six to close it out. Let's check the leaderboard. Let's see how we go. Oh, nice. Miro jumps in on Aegis. That makes nine Elims for this team. Seven of them on Miro. Huge, huge start to the team that was in second place. Now taking over first place. See if they can keep pushed through here. I think Frist is still in this one. Visuals and Frist still here. So this is first place and second place on the same layer looking at each other here. Visuals going to drop down. So is Frist. Booga Muzz. Muzz goes down. Booga and Miro right now. Nine kills total still. Muzz is out of this one. Six teams, 12 players. So we've got a lot of duos and solos in this one. Chucky and Illus. Illus has racked up five kills since we last watched him. We'll go back and see how the hell that happened. Visuals and Frist, though, just one layer above Booga and Miro. So we got a lot of duos right now. Is it all duos? We have any trios in this lobby. We have one trio and a solo. Here we go. We have Cold, Elite, and Cease on the high ground. It's a full trio with the advantage right now. Quanti on 10 HP. He's going to try and jump in if he can. Trying to eat the flopper, and he goes down to the hands of Miro. Another Elim for Miro. Miro right now is racking up potentially double digits, pushing the, them forward in first place right now. Rogue Shark going to try and find this angle if he can. Miro leading the charge. Zero builds left, though. Don't know how many Booga has. Booga has zero as well. Player comes in. This is first on the second, and no! Second place wins that fight. Frist and Visuals beating out Booga and Miro in the 2v2. That could potentially swing them back up into first. Frist is going to try and clutch up as many as he can. Only 47 HP, though. Zero builds. He's going to go down in fourth place. So I don't think that'll be enough to overtake them back into first, but I'm not sure. Clarity G and Rogue Shark on the low grounds. Chucky goes down here. We got a 2v3, high ground versus low ground. You have to imagine Cease, Elite, and Cold, who were in first place at one point yesterday, going into the last game, are going to be able to win this one. But Rogue Shark with a big spaz shot, he's going to be able to get that finish if he can. Gets the siphon. I think it's a 1v1 situation right now. Elite on no HP. Rogue Shark can't get the siphon, and no, he goes down. Cease still had three floppers, though. I don't think it was going to matter. The 12 Elim win right here for Cease, Cold, and Elite playing so well. Trying to look for drop downs here. Can they find the double edits? Looking like that we might be getting a refresh here. I'm feeling a kill. Only, unfortunately, they have the green shotguns, but more than enough for how well this team's playing. Here it goes. Everyone's getting forced down. There we go. Ocus is below. A lot of people are getting forced up into them now. They've got to go over these boxes, though. They jump in on Muzz. Muzz gets the edit. Jumps up. Finds a box here. Very nice layer swap from Muzz. Do we still have clicks on the high ground? We do. Clicks Tahi and Sprite in a really good position on high ground. Tragics goes down to AV. Paper's team trying to put up a fight here with the Omzo. Booga still leading the charge to these layers. They're running out of mats. We're going to have to fight something soon. Never mind. A little bit of a refresh swap there from Miro. Good awareness from Booga to try and claim that layer ahead. There's that team above them. They're going to go through out to the right. Tank zone a little bit. Claim the layers. Nice rotates from Booga. Oh, Mira goes down, unfortunately. Doesn't get through. Mira with the six kills, though. He's done more than enough. Five kills between Muzz and Booga. What can they do as a duo to close this one out? Pavery Omzo getting backed up in Storm. They're trying to walk in, and they go down, unfortunately. Booga and Muzz might be able to find something on DJ and Kanata and Ages up above. Oh, Muzz goes down, unfortunately. Five teams, 14 players. The World Cup solo champ playing as a solo. He's got 90 HP. Perfect for the med kit. Going to pop this one and try to stagger the zone. Clicks Tahi and Sprite up above. Looking very much in the position to take this one. Two Elims, though. Didn't rack up too many Elims in the rotate. Chimp, OG, and Ocus. Looking like the shark swap for them. Paying off massive in day two. 91 points. Ocus team is going massive now with this drop spot swap. Knife are now down to a solo. So Booga not the only solo in this one, which means Booga can hold on to more points if he wants to. Or Booga went down, sorry. Booga went down in top five, I believe. DJ and Age is a duo. Knife are on 20, 10. Knife are going to go down to Storm. DJ and Age is in the mid ground. Clicks Tahi Sprite on the high ground. And then we got Chimp, OG, and Ocus on the low ground. A 3v2v3. 2v3. Tahi going to drop down, try to find these angles. Gets the angle there, but it, unfortunately, it's on a DJ who's playing this very, very well. Going to take down Tahi and clicked in the process. Now it's just Sprite. 20 HP. Gets the splash off. That's it. Sprite's going to go down as well. Clicks Tahi and Sprite. Unfortunately, can't close it out from the high ground. Drop down onto DJ in the mid ground. And then Ocus, Chimp, and OG. I think in last place yesterday, right? I think last place after six games yesterday, bring it back with a 10 Elim win in the third game on day two. 
The drop swap being a very, very good choice from Ocus. But we have Nani land for the high ground. Thought they might. Mac with Peterbot going around the outside. Bucky being taken very, very low. Where have we gone? Miru, Booga, and Muzz. They're staggering a little bit on the rotate. They're trying to stay back here so they can find this refresh. They're going through the task force. Who have we got here? Don't know who this is on the other side. Now they're pushing through. Miro goes down, unfortunately. Looking like we might have our worst game of the day for Booga's team here. Muzz and Miro. Muzz now is a solo. Zone goes back. He's got four builds. He's going to have to hide here. Muzz needs to clutch up big right now for his team. Otherwise, this lead could be cutting, getting cut down. 37 builds. Edgy goes down to Clarity. Is Osp still up? Os visuals and frist. Oh no! Not only are Os vis visual and frist still up, they're up above everyone. Shadow flopping on the high ground. That would probably give them high ground and a free rotation. So Muzz needs to clutch up these points because frist team is going to be gaining on them after this game. That is pretty much a guaranteed top five from frist unless they really mess it up. Stretch takes down Cold. Muzz has 20 builds left, tanking a bit of zone, getting himself on a dead side. The problem is he's got a full trio with Bucky's team above him in this tarp. He's got to be careful of the roofs. Nice spot from Muzz here. Good decisions. Good rotates. Zero builds left though. This is it. Can Muzz do it? Been popping off on NA as a solo demon. Needs to do so. Gets the zone again. Muzz getting some good RNG. But which, which tarp can he break into? Because right now this spot is very exposed. No walls on either side. If a team can hear him or see him, it's going to be very rough. Frist takes down Dusky. I got to imagine Frist team on the high ground. I think no Muzz goes down as I skip off him. Unfortunate to see there, but our second place team, Frist, Osp, and Visuals take the high ground and potentially close the gap on Muzz's team. This has been a team that when they win, they win with 10 Elims. So if they get a big game here, that'll cut down that gap. Two games to go for NA East after this, and we could see this game bringing back the gap to at least 30, I think. Stretch goes down. I mean, Stretch gets a kill down below onto Knight. Qua Yomzo still in this. Age is a solo. Bucky, Peterbot, and Mackwood came into day two on top five, unfortunately. Falling off the pace a little bit, but this could be the game to bring him back. Eight teams, 19 players. Ganzo takes down Nani. Had to drop off that high ground. Unfortunately, Aviv gets an Elim on the low ground as well. This zone's going to be pretty awkward and finishes through the water. Yomzo and Qua in a fight. Quiet trying to find the angles. Peter Bot goes down. There it is. Yomzo now in the box. Purple Spaz. How's our high ground team looking? Dom Chimp as well. We have Dom, Aviv, and Ganzo. Not Oliver, OG, and Chimp. Man, OG, Chimp, and Oak is having such a good day two compared to their day one. Uh, all right, we're dropping. Oh, sorry. We're dropping it down to Ospin Frist, who is stuck down below. I thought we were just that confident in our win. We're just giving mats to the opponent. Never mind. Frist and Os were down a couple layers. Visuals is up on the ulti high with the three floppers ready for the heal off. 34 seconds until the zone closes out. This could potentially go down to the heal off. Frist is going to try and get any Elim he can here. These are points he very much needs. Doesn't get that one. Potentially going to go down on the walls here. No, takes down Iomzo. It is now a 2v1 situation against Ganzo. And you got to imagine we're going to win it from the high ground. Three floppers, 1v1, literally shooting fish in a barrel here. Ganzo is going to go down. And second place, Oz team closes the gap. I don't think they're going to overtake Booga. I'm almost positive they haven't. But how much have they closed the gap? So it's going to go back across. It's going to go towards Lazy Lakes. Very important for two main reasons. One has the potential to go through Lazy Lakes, which is very, very bad for certain teams going through the builds. Keeps a lot of teams alive. It's good if you're shambles. But the main reason, insanely terrible for server lag and FPS drops. Rotate, a stacked rotating zone towards Lazy Lake is the most pressure you're ever going to put on your PC in Fortnite, unfortunately. Rotate's coming out here. Boo gets hit pretty hard in the sky. Or oh, hasn't hit the sky just yet. One below Surge as well. So Mira, Muzz, and Boogie need to find their Surge. We didn't have Surge on 50, but only five players went down. So 45 players alive here. 15 people needing to go down for Surge to go away here. So Booga, Mira, and Muzz need to get some damage. Who's going to do it? Muzz landing a little bit off track here. A little bit further away from Booga Mira. Needs to find his way back to them. I believe no Mira fell off track as well. So Booga by himself and Muzz and Mira have to catch up and find their way in if they can. How many builds they have? Nine. Only 14 builds for Muzz. He's still stuck down here. He can't build all the way up. Muzz got to play as a solo. Got to try and find his way back to his team. This is going to be very, very rough here for Muzz. They're going to know he's a solo. He's on the walls though, but he's going big. He's going to try and get some surge. There it is. Never mind. Miro and Booga find their way back to Muzz. The team is back together again. 
First place right now, 137 below. This is the worst position we've seen this team in all day. Two games to go, second last game of the day. And this is everything if Miro gets coned, unfortunately, as they make the rotate. Booger and Muzz is duo, soon to be potentially Muzz as a solo. Booger's on 28 HP, no shield. They're getting hit by Surge. Muzz has got to eat the big pot. He doesn't have time to take it. There he goes, takes down Rogue Shark. Steps in, gets another one, and no! So close to taking down. Uses our FNCS reigning champ. So, Miro, Booger, Muzz can't run away with the tournament. This is going to come down to game 12 potentially on the cards here. How is Oz still doing in this lobby right now? Osp has gone down, sorry. So Day Jam for Tragics are our next team to look out for. They're currently on two Elims, so no crazy high Elims. Still making their rotates through if they can. They're looking for high ground. This is scary for Muzz fans. If Jam for Tragics and Day take the high ground here and potentially get this victory out, we could have a tawny on our hands. Nick FN takes down Villet. 10 teams, 24 players. Six, just under 70 builds for Jamper. 55 for Tragics. And 25 for Day. Found a beautiful old tarp to follow here. This has just saved them so many materials. Who is on the high ground? Who is in the position of power right now? We have Kanata, DJ, and Aged. Okay, that is not an easy team to dethrone. Had a rough weekend so far. Mostly due to drop spots. But DJ's team on high ground is going to be a tough one to beat out. If Day Jamper Tragics want to have the big game they need here, they're going to have to do it somewhere else. They're doing it in the low ground. So many players, what is this? There's like nine players just got funneled up and died on that layer. There are so many materials there, so much loot, and it looks like Tragics has been just harpooning all of it. We got Chili Chug Splashes, here we go. We got a speed boost right now. If Day needed any more motivation to get in, Chili Chug Splash is normally gonna be what does it. Edgy goes down here. Four Elims for this team now. Four teams, nine players. It's going to come down to them on the mid ground. Day's got the gold spaz. That is usually a winning formula. It is very, very rare you see Day with a gold spaz and they don't win this game. Tragics with the purple pump. Tragics with the 90s. Oh my god, Tragics cranking with the chili chug splash and all the extra mats. Takes height from DJ Ages Kanata. And now Day can play his way up if he wants to as well. Or he's going to play his way down for more elims. They're going to drop down, hold this layer. Jamp is going to play ulti height, but no heal off. Jamper currently has no white heals at the moment. Twix is very, very weak. 7 HP. Trying to get away from this one. Tetro finds himself falling in the hands of Ages. Here it is. We have a 3v2. Day Tragics Jamper versus Kanata and Ages. If anyone can beat this team as a duo, it's going to be Kanata Ages. Purple charge in hand. Holding the low ground. Only 3 builds left for Kanata. 20 for Ages. This is not going to go to heal off. Neither of these teams have the heal off potential here. I don't believe Ages gets hit. First blood has been drawn, and just like that, Day smells blood in the water, drops down. We get the seven Elim victory L for Day Jamper Tragics, which should put them in second, right? I believe that should put them in second. Looks like he's going to move them now. I think that sideways hurt them a lot. I think a lot of what the angles they were going for was down through here, and that sideways blocked them, but... 37 above, chat. Oh, no. Nah, there's no chance. Not like this. Not like this. Not with a double spaz. There's a fight going on up here, though. There's a fight going up on over the hill. Who is this? This is a good third-party opportunity right now. The FNCS champs themselves. We have Duke's team going up against Niddle's team. Bugamira Muzzy to get up in third party as they're looking for it. Can they get their tags in? Are we going to get some damage out of this? Only 57 above. Now they know you're there as well. This might be a fight we have to push. Mira Muzz armed with the double spaz combo. Could be enough. Six below. The nerves have got to be kicking in now for Miro, Muzz, and Booger, especially Muzz. All eyes on them right now. This is it. This is their FNCS to win right here. If they go down. Oh, Miro getting aggressive. 31 HP for Miro. Miro goes down. No, not like this. Miro goes down. Still 41 below. Muzz and Booger have to clutch up now. Miro falls. Gets caught out on the wall. They're getting hit by Surge too. Surge is ticking and they have to fight a 2v3. Muzz is looking for something. Come on, let's see the Kovacs. My man has been putting in the hours. We have to see it here. Come on, Muzz. 82 below. Come out of this lag and be 100 above. Come on, guys. We've got to find the damage. Where's it going to be? Who's going to have it? 44 below. Otherwise, we're going to be watching to see if they hold on. 11 below. They're getting their damage out right now. They're going through their shields there. They're going through everything. Miro's gone down. 28 teams, 76 players alive. Six people still have to die. They have to fight something. They have to find something. They're going to get in. Muzz is looking for a nice big shot from Booga. There we go. World Cup champion for a reason. 
Ice in the veins, drops down, gets a big shotgun shot onto Niddle. Still only 35, though. Six players have to go down. This will not hold. They're now getting pushed by Casca, but that could be a nice refresh here. Muzz is going to try and go for this. Muzz is trying to find something. He's got the purple spaz. He's got to feel comfortable with that. Only 39 above. Casca's there. Casca's honestly a pretty difficult opponent here, even in a 1v2. 669 above? All right, apparently we're 669 above now somehow, but we've cost everything into this. I don't know how we're randomly 700 above of zero damage, but Booger Muzz live to fight another day. No Miro though, they get the card, but even if they get Miro back, what can they do? How are they gonna get back into this? Because they don't have the meds at all. They have some builds, 130 builds total, but no meds whatsoever. M Miro is going to be coming back with a gray pistol and maybe a harpoon. Is that a blue? Is that a blue shotgun vending machine? It's an SMG vending machine. Booger's going to go for the reboot right now. Do we have we got a med kit? Hopefully, we spot the med kit around the corner here. Do we have any other loot lurking? Do we have minis? Do we have something to claw this team's way back into the game? This is going to be risky, chat. And then we've got the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Jampa, Tragics, and Day are stacked out of their minds. We've got launch pads. We've got maximum big pots here. We've got splashes. We've got miniguns. We have everything. Miro. Oh, I like this. No. Oh, we got Jampa, Tragics, and Day. They saw. They know that Miro, Booga, and Muzz just went into the sideways to try to get their shields. They heard the reboot. They know their shambles. Day's team smells blood in the water. This is first on to second. Day's team has the chance right now to secure their FNCS win. Tragic's day, oh, they're lurking. Tragic sees it, Muzz knows they're there though. They're gonna build, they're gonna try and run from this. If they get white tags though, the spray's coming out. They might actually even know it's them. There is a good chance Tragic's team knows this is Mira right now, but luckily for them, Suscript's in the distance, gonna play spoiler. Suscript's gonna hold off the advance from Day's team. Mira, Booga, Muzz are gonna live to fight another day, but fight, they are going to have to. They need some damage. There's just, they've got a med kit. They got one med kit each. That's it. They don't even have a med kit each. They have two med kits between the three of them. 48 builds on Muzz, 18 on Miro, and 15 on Booga. They are 669 above Surge. I have no idea how. But first versus second, and they are next to each other. Not a single player has gone down yet. If anything, we've actually gained a player with Miro's reboot. So 50-man Surge is going to be an issue for a lot of teams here. Can they find something? This is going to take, like, a llama in the trees, or they're going to have to get very lucky on a third party here. And they're below again. I'm so very confused. They were just 600 above. I... Another... Another... I don't understand, but an, a problem for another day. I don't get it, but okay. Muzz, Miro, and Booga are now below Surge again. Two med kits to their name. Soon to be one med kit to their name. And no extra shields. The reboot on Miro. Miro had none of the damage, I don't think. Miro didn't have, like, any of their damage. They went from 29 below to 600 above instantly. And then they just went from 600 above to 300 below instantly. Miro getting some damage, but they need more. 19 players have to go down. They've got to get in. They're going to have to get in or something. Oh, no. Muzz goes down. The team jumps out. It's Knight. It's Knight, Rogue Shark, and Clarity G potentially... Playing spoiler here, Muzz falls. It's down to Miro and Booga to clutch up. Remember, Miro doesn't even have a shotgun. Booga doesn't even have the spaz anymore. They did lose their second spaz, so Muzz was the firepower in this team. Only 69 below now. Booga and Miro holding on for dear life. 84 below, 57 builds. They're gonna try and find the angle here. Booga jumps down, gets a tag. Is that enough? 39 below still, that's not enough. Miro's still looking for it as well. 81 above, now it's enough. 81 above. They are holding on for now. 11 players have to go down, though. You've got to imagine this won't hold. They still need more. Booga's looking for it. They've got that pad. They don't want to have to use it, though. They're getting lobby focused. Seven builds for, Mo for Booga. 21 for Miro. They're holding on. They are fighting tooth and nail for this one. Miro gets a few tags with the a pistol, I believe. Shots coming out right now. Trying to connect. And no, Miro goes down. And Booga is literally one HP. Hits for 60, and they fall. Miro, Booga, Muzz are going to go down on 160 points today. So that means, can someone please tell me the number the J day jamper Tragics need to beat? But Tragics is down. They're going to get him back up. Can someone please do the math on the difference here? 
and tell me how many points the Jampa Tragics and Day need to end on to win. The Zichad FNCS on the line. Ismuz going to be the first multi-region FNCS winner. Is Booga going to get his first FNCS win ever? And are Muzz and Mira going to become three times FNCS champs? Or is Day going to become a three times FNCS champ over his old ex-teammate and Jampa over his old ex-teammate with Booga? Or is it going to be the underdogs Frisk team coming out on top for their first ever FNCS win for all three of them? This means so much to all three of these teams. Tragics gets hit up again. Only five above though. Needs to find more damage on the board. Th 38 above now. 71. Getting the tags they need. They've still got that sideways minigun. If they want to apply some pressure, they've got one of their last two pads on the ground. Going to try and hit this rotate. Is Frisk team still on the high ground? No one on the high ground just yet. Are they going to land on it though? Frisk, Visual, and Os. No, they're down below. Frisk, Visual, and Os. We're going to play this rotate outside. 80 above on low ground. On dead side here. Looking very, very good. Tahi takes down Who Fishy. We've got a lot of big teams still in this one. But right now, Mackwood's team on the high ground. So high ground might not be the place to be. Very, very good chance high ground gets landed on here. Frisk gets an Elium onto a pledge. Visuals goes down. Visuals goes down in the feed right now. So Frist and Osp are down to a duo. They've lost one of their members. So Day Jamper Tragic still as a full trio. You have to imagine have the advantage. 18 below. Can they close the gap? Are they going to be able to find their damage now? Surge has been taking its toll on the top teams. Now 6 above. 59 above. Bucky goes down. Takes down Pamstu in the process. 90 takes down Paper. Jamper trying to lead his team to success right now. These are all brand newly formed teams. Trying to make this first FNCS count. Day Jamper Tragic still rotating on this one. Are they looking for high ground? Are they going to have eyes on it? Right now, high ground is Cease, Elite, and Cold, who have been very much up on the leaderboard. Top five position, but can't rival that winning spot. Who is going to take the Axe of Champions? Ospin Frisk making sure it's going to be them. Still a duo, still holding on. But Jamper Day and Tragics, they need more. Top 11. This is where the big placement starts coming out. If one of them wins, you have to imagine that's it. And with Jamper going to the sky, Jamper Day and Tragics could be the winning formula here. Mackwood's team is no longer in the sky. High ground is the position to do this from. This could be the difference between them winning FNCS and not. They have high ground, but they have zero eliminations. They need to start fragging out. Osp falls in the feed right now. Osp goes down here. So potentially this is it. Only Frisk now to hold on to his team's chance to try and take this one if they can. One Elim on the board, but as a solo, you've got to imagine this is going to be too hard of an ask for him, but he might be able to clutch it up. Jamper Tragics and Day still looking for their first Elim of the game. This might come down to just the lack of eliminations, I feel like. Quanti's going to go down to Durant as well, but so far our big teams are staying quiet. Ganzo's still in this. Who has the potential to beat these teams? Are the FNCS champs going to be able to play spoiler here on one of these teams? They have the Chili Chug Splashes still in hand. No one's even making a move for high ground. Frist with 18 builds to his name. Holding on to anything that he has. Trying to do this. Knifer goes down to stretch. Reverse going to take down Cease. Tragic's Day and Jamper on the high ground. Applying so much pressure. But they can't find the Elims. And they know they need them. The win here could be enough. But they need Elims on top as well. If I remember correctly, the difference was 37 points. A win is 30. That means they need at least... Four Elims and Miro's team got a couple of points as well. So the win isn't going to be good enough. They need a four kill win at least. Aviv, it looks like he might go down here. They're going to get their first Elim of the day. Frisk goes down. Frisk is out. I believe that is impossible. Day takes down his ex trio mate. Reverse 2k on the way to potentially overtaking Miro. But they're losing a lot of health for this. Day drops down. 29 builds now. First Elim. Jamper's going to fall. That's two Elims for this team. But Jamper is down. Tragix is down. All eyes on Day here. Day has to clutch this one. If Day wants any chance to get his third FNCS title, he has to perform better than he ever has in his life. This is one of the best players in the world, but 37 HP. Zone is closing out. He needs to drop down. 27, 17, 7. Day is down. That shouldn't be enough. I think it's impossible. I don't know who won it. It was our FNCS champs. Justice users and Dukes play spoiler. But I think, I think Booger, Muzz, and Miro hold on. I'm pretty sure that was enough. We don't have the combined leaderboard. But I got to imagine that's enough. I don't... No, I don't care about an item shop. What is it? 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 
It is Booga, Miro, and Muzz in first on 341 points. Booga's first FNCS win since winning World Cup. Miro and Muzz's third, making Muzz the first ever multi-region FNCS winner. Jampa, Tragics, and Day also playing absolutely phenomenally in second on 334, falling seven points behind. That's less than four eliminations. Then we have Frist, Visuals, and Osp, who I don't think anyone predicted to potentially win this, getting so close. Huge performance from them. Massive, massive underdog story. 317, Centered Stretch and Commandment bringing it back big in day two to get almost a podium finish on 280. We have Nani, Quanti, and Dusky on 271. Elite 269, Dom 259, Rise, Ages, Clarity, Mackwood, Justice, Nosh, Pledge, Ale, Kerry, Kwa, Tahi, Kaz, AV, Chimp, Kaska, Avery, Coop, Durant, Donny, Twix, Lupian, Dequented, Plague, Swappy, Dolzia. That is your top 33 good Shit, Muzz. I'm sorry, bro. I had to unmod you because we didn't want you to come in and spoil during a moat only. <laughs> the truth.